Hi guys, Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram. And today's tutorial is on the Zio bracelet, which I did just recently. It's a jump ring bracelet. And it's super simple and I had some requests for tutorials, so I thought I'd do a very quick one for you. So this is it, named by my son after one of the Power Rangers uh, series. Okay, so all you're going to need is some bands. I did this one with the limited edition bands and I think it should work with any bands. Uh, I've got 12 mm jump rings. I believe it will work with um, smaller jump rings, like you could probably go down to 8 or 10 mm. Uh, but you can't go much thicker than this because they cross over each other. And I think if you went thicker it would kind of distort the bracelet. You can try it out, but these are quite thin. Um, yeah. So you can kind of get the the idea there. Alright, so what you need to do is start off with just a cap band and then hook on two of the jump rings, pull through a band and then flip the jump rings up. I find that's the easiest way to get them where I want them. Pull through another band go over the top of the jump ring to put them together. Okay, so you've now got the bottom of the jump ring through one loop and the top of the jump ring through another loop. Okay, when you're at this point, pop on another couple of jump rings and do the same thing. Oh, if I can pick them up. So pop on the jump rings, pull a band through, hook it together and flip the jump rings over the end of the hook like so pull through into the band and take it to the top okay same again and I'll just do three so you can get the idea because it really is very simple and I want to make this a very quick tutorial so pull it through so you've got the jump rings on there flip them over the top, pull through everything and grab a hold of that band over the top of the jump ring. Okay, so that's what you're going to start with. Alrighty, I'll just pop another band on there and tie that off. You can walk a C-clip on it if you want to. Okay, so this is really very simple. It's basically a, okay, I'll show you this. This is kind of tricky because, not tricky in the sense of difficult, tricky in the sense of it's a very simple border and all I've done is just flip it round to the back, curl it in towards the back and hook it together strategically with some C-clips. So at those various points I've hooked it together with the C-clips. I probably could have put another one on there but it was coming together for the end anyway. So all you're actually doing in this is going chain, chain, then you put a band through, so the beginning chain, chain, put a band through the jump ring, but not through the, the bands on there, hook another loop through there, and do another chain, chain. So very, very simple. Okay, what I did with the jump rings so that I was trying not to make them uneven, is on the first one I grabbed the one on the bottom, second one I grabbed the jump ring sitting on top. Um, I thought it might sort of even it out the um, you know the otherwise it would get a uh, like a twist on it but I don't know if you're using jump rings this big whether it would actually make much of a difference so I might try it just using all of the underneath bands oh, sorry all of the underneath rings on one side and all of them on the top on the other side. Don't know that it would make that much of a difference. So grab your border colour and you just go through the cap band and you chain chain go up, grab the jump ring and you're only going to pull the band through the jump ring like that so you've got two loops Two, sorry, four loops, two bands sitting side by side, and pull one through. 
Don't worry about what this jump ring's doing, we'll grab onto it when we come up the other side. So you then go two more chains, grab a hold of the jump ring that you're going to use. So go up through the jump ring, pull a band through that, adjust the jump ring, pull a band through all four loops and do another two chains. Up through your jump ring, band through the jump ring only, band through everything, and then two chains. And you just continue that to the top. Okay, on this one at the top, I got to the end, I did the two chains and then I hooked them through front and back. It's kind of a chunky finish, but it, it went okay because I wanted the bands to curl under. So at this point you can just secure that somehow. Oh, I'm just going to put a loop in there. Okay, so you want to be working through the same side, coming back this way. So this is the back and this is the front. So you want to be working up through the back, whether you do that from this side or however you do it, but you need to be going in the same direction as you were before, like a lot of my border bands. Same pattern, two chains, up through the other jump ring. So if it's slid across, just push it back. Through just the jump ring, through everything. that and then you go back to your two chains so two chains oops people bands okay so that's your second chain go around and up so make sure you're coming up through the jump ring through just the jump ring through all four, two chains, then up through the jump ring, just through the jump ring, through all four, and two chains. like so. So that's what it looks like when it's all out flat. And it does actually work okay I think doing the jump rings all one way. Okay so all I did then was I got those two loops and those two loops and I positioned them between the front and the back of these two loops. So how I did that is I just went, whoops, I just lost that one, hang on, put that back. So I got that front loop, oh I think I've, no I haven't lost it, got that front loop, picked up those two loops, picked up those two loops, and then I picked up the back loop. So as I said it's quite chunky but for these purposes it's fine because you actually are, um, I use it as a centre band colour to pull it through, you're actually, uh, it's a fairly 3D bracelet, like so. Oh, it slipped up the other. There we go. That orange one should just be on top. So it should just look like kind of a continuation of that centre. So, once you've secured that, apologies for the crackling, just secure that one. Now all you need to do, you could wear it like that if you wanted to, but it does tend to kind of want to curl a little bit, but in order to make it do this, which kind of pop these side ones out, 
you just find evenly spaced along the length of your bracelet. Like start put one in the middle and then sort of evenly space it. Whoops, just put my iPad. All you need to do is pick up the inside loop of one of these and the inside loop of one of these gold. So say this is the middle of my bracelet. I'm just going to pick up that inside loop like that and go up to the one that is basically opposite that and pick up that inside loop like so. And that just holds it so it sits really nicely. So as you see it's, it's a nice 3D but it's incredibly soft. Very very soft to wear. Um, and then you just continue putting as many C clips as you want to make it um, a nice clean look. The C clips don't dig into your wrist or anything because it is such a soft band with a bit of depth in it. So there you go. That is the Zeo bracelet. So if you do um, make one of these, or more, um, tag it to me on Instagram. That'd be great. Crazy just might work. And I'd love to see all your renditions. Okay, catch you later. Bye.